Hey everybody, so it's time for another home screen setup tutorial. So first thing we're going to do is open up the Play Store and we're going to download three applications. The name of the home screen launcher that we're going to be using is called Niagara Launcher. And if you just type that in, you should get yours just like mine. Whoops, here we try, there we go. <laughs> go ahead and hit install. And while that's installed, let's go ahead and press the back button at the top. And let's go ahead and search for the icon pack that we're going to be using that you saw inside of whoops it's actually base it there we go base it icon pack this one here and we're going to go ahead and um it's going to be this third one here oh okay well i didn't even know that if you hold your finger down on it you can go ahead and hit install i was going to say if you tap on it then you can hit install but hey look at that just learned something new while trying to teach you something new <laughs> All right, so that icon pack we want to grab and it works really well. Now the third application that we're going to use is going to be 3D Parallax. Oh, there we go. Wallpaper right there. And if you scroll down, we're going to want the one that is from VinWAP. Actually, let's actually type in. There we go. Now you're going to see two here that's going to pop up. I don't typically use the top one that says 4D here. I normally use this 3D parallax background one. So go ahead and hit install. And now we have all of the applications that we're going to need to set up our home screen. So I'm going to go ahead and press home. Looks like it's not finished downloading. Let me go back and check to see if Niagara has actually gotten downloaded. Okay. Let's go ahead and press open. And when you open it up for the first time, you're gonna get all of this stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit great on the directly check notifications. So when you tap on something, just like you see in the example, it's gonna actually show you what the message says, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow notification access. I recommend that you turn this on. Okay, so welcome back. Do you want to set Niagara Launcher as the default? Sure. I want to go ahead and set this one up. So great, now it's going to put me back here now. Please enter your location for weather. You all can go ahead and do this one here. I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to press Keep Enabled. Whoops, let's try it again. Location, current location is just fine while using the app. Okay, so for calendar access required to show your appointments, I'm going to press Grant. I like that it'll show me different stuff my son has no school for a couple of days now he's tracked out so this works out nicely but I can see different calendar notifications right here at the top so this is pretty nice okay so this is how it's going to be set up and if you actually you see these letters here on the right hand side well just kind of bring your finger down here and to the very bottom you can drag your finger up and down and you're gonna see it really moves around pretty good there so go to the very bottom and go ahead and press niagara settings and then let's press on look and then for icon pack let's go ahead and tap that and we're going to go ahead and um, scroll down if you don't see it i don't see that one that i just downloaded so let me press get more and see what's going on when i go to the play store so i'm going to search for here we go basic icon pack i don't see it up here i'm going to tap on it thought I already did this one time before but all right let me go ahead and hit install um, again here should just take a couple of seconds but I guess what we're doing in the meantime is come back here and then let's go back down into settings for Niagara launcher and let's go back to look and from here you can change you'll see at the very top here how it's actually showing you what it's gonna look like on your device this is something that you could play around yourself for the icon shape, I normally like to leave mine as a circle or a rounded square. You can really pick whichever one that you like. Um, and for the font, you can change this also. Now, they do have one that is from Niagara, or you can add your own. I think I typically use the Niagara Neo, and I'm going to apply font. Let's see, is that icon pack finished? And it is finished. It's right here. So now we have that icon pack actually installed. Now, you see how Apple Music here has not changed? Well, I don't want it to be inside of my favorites. This view that we're looking at right now is actually called your favorites view, and you can change any of the applications to be up here that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down, and I'm gonna go ahead and press on edit favorites, and I'm going to uncheck Apple Music, 
and then I'm going to press the check mark. So now I just changed my favorite applications that you actually see up here. Of course, you can add any application that you want to and any icon pack that you want. I'm just showing you the way that we had it here in the video, <laughs> the way that I showed you on that uh, front screen. So let's go ahead and go back up. And that, now we actually have 3D parallax background. So let's open this up and press continue. You can read that if you want to. And there are a bunch. Right now I'm moving my device around and all of these wallpapers are actually changing. You see these different effects? I love this. This looks really cool. So I'm going to scroll down and see can I actually find the fish one. If you see and you like any of these wallpapers, of course pick whichever one that you want to. I'm going to go ahead and see can I find a little fishy friend here. Let's see. Man, it's hard not to pick one of these other ones now that I'm <laughs> scrolling through this again. Let's see, can I actually find... He's way down here. They've got a ton of wallpapers here to choose from. And you can even make your own. I think that's going to be something for another video. Here we go. So here's my fish buddies here. It's going to ask you, is it okay if we download this to your device? Press OK and then press Allow. And now it's going to show you. Now, when you rotate your device, and this is going to always be the case here, it's so, so cool. So you can press set wallpaper, home and lock screen. And now when you go home, this is how I got my home screen to look the way that I did. So there's the icon pack, there's the wallpaper. And yeah, I suggest that you give this a shot. Give this a try if you like checking out new home screens. I love how you can just drag your finger here on the right or left hand side. It doesn't matter which one. Right now my thumb is going on the right hand side right now, but I could just as easily use my left thumb and scroll and it's going to go up and down just as smoothly. So this is a very, very cool um, home screen launcher. If you don't want those letters up there, for example, because maybe you want a cooler look. Again, you see below the Z, that little dot, just bring your finger down there as one of the ways to open up the menu. And then you can actually press on look. And then if you scroll down, you can hide your status bar or you can show it. I have mine's hidden, but if you want to hide the alphabet for a cleaner look, now when you go back there, those letters are gone still functions the same so right now i'm dragging my left thumb on the side of the screen and i'm still seeing a ton of applications here installed so this is a very 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 clean looking um, home screen launcher i really suggest that you guys check this out it's such a minimal look really really pretty you can edit and do so many different things um I'll, I'll let you all play around with all this stuff but yeah definitely check it out lots of different settings that niagara has and again super minimal very clean all of your applications are going to be in alphabetical order so check this one out hope you all enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to set the wallpaper on your cover screen <laughs> i think this launcher i can't remember but i don't think that it will automatically update the cover screen i'll go check right now but i think it's going to stop the screen recording <laughs> so i won't check it right now but even if it doesn't go ahead and pick whichever wallpaper that you want to use on your cover screen and go crazy inside of that 3d parallax uh, wallpaper application anyways thanks for watching hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video